Hey everybody, welcome back to the Side by Side guys. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Savage UTV belt case. The Savage UTV belt case is made from a black ABS plastic all around. It has metal pins on its hinges and it has a really, really tight clasping system. The Savage UTV belt case is meant to be mounted anywhere on your UTV that has a roll cage or if you're into custom fabrication, you can make your own custom brackets to adapt to any part of the machine, whether that be the roof, under the wheel well, or anywhere else you can get creative. Inside the Savage UTV belt case, you're going to find uh, an included piece of foam for customization of your own tools, uh, along with a uh, hardware set that is going to allow you to uh, connect your case to your machine in a variety of different ways. It'll include four bolts, four lock nuts, two hose clamps that are coated in rubber, and uh, it'll give you the ability uh, to use the two included flat plates to uh, mount the case directly to your roll cage from the bottom. Now, if your case doesn't really fit on your machine in that flat uh, mounted form, you can buy some L brackets from Savage UTV, which will give you kind of a side mount uh, option. And that'll be really nice if you want to mount it under something to a, a roll cage bar, or if you want to go to uh, side by side with something that is already existing on your machine. So uh, the flat plates work great if you're just trying to get flush with the cage. The L brackets will make it super easy to mount alongside other accessories or next to your shocks. Uh, um, things like that. If you buy your belt case with the included toolkit, uh, you, what you'll receive is a custom cut, uh, I believe it's a laser cut uh, foam insert, which has the included tools, which includes um, 11 inch needle nose uh, pliers, some uh, box cutters. It'll include a couple different uh, sockets for uh, removing your clutch cover. Uh, and it'll include uh, a ratcheting screwdriver handle for those uh, nuts. Now we've chosen to also include a uh, fairly large clutch tool. So this will uh, separate your secondary clutch. But as you can see, we were able to use the open space in the foam to custom cut uh, mount uh, just for this tool to fit right in with everything else. So uh, if you take this um, with you anywhere you go, you're completely ready to handle anything that would come your way, including grenaded belts where the shrapnel gets behind the sheaves um, or up into uh, the, the exhaust tube. So one thing that we uh, really like about this uh, product is that it is really, really durable. Um, it's really strong. It's much like a Pelican case that you might see uh, emergencies or first responders using to house their sensitive equipment or um, just stuff they have to keep in one piece. Um, and so this is really what it's been modeled after. These clasps on the outside that hold the uh, unit shut are actually very, very strong. Um, and they may actually be very difficult for you to open or close. For us, opening wasn't really a big deal, but closing them, ah, ow, really hurt sometimes. So, you know, honestly, uh, as we get to uh, the brutal testing that we do, um, that really is my only complaint, but just something to know up front that uh, these are engineered to be super tight so that you never lose your tools or your belt. The included mounting hardware includes these metal uh, brackets and these uh, hex nuts, which have an O-ring to create a seal. These will go through the bottom of the case, out the case, and then through the plate. Uh, and then what you'll do is you'll use the lock nuts that come with it to secure that to the case. Once you have your brackets mounted to the case, what you're gonna wanna do is take the included hose clamps and thread them through the bracket and then back up through the other side of the bracket. The thing about this, while I just did it out here in the open is that when it's on the case, uh, that can be a little bit difficult. So what I recommend doing when you're installing the hose clamps is to simply bend this back a little bit to create a hook so that when you go down, it also comes back up through the hole when you're installing your hose clamps. 
Also, when you're installing your case to your roll cage, I also recommend that once you have your hose clamp uh, secured to itself, that you then twist it and put it so that the excess banding goes behind the case, and that way you can avoid any slicing of the hand while you're going in and out of your machine. If you happen to be on top of a mountain and you travel down into a valley where it's cooler, or you go from maybe a warm enclosed trailer to a cold outside environment, you may find that the, the lid of the case may get sucked to the bottom of the case and you won't be able to open it by hand. Uh, but Savage UTV actually thought of that. They've included a valve at the top. All you have to do is open it. It'll equalize the pressure on the inside of the case and you can open it from there. Now the vent screw at the top also has an o-ring on it. It creates a nice weatherproof seal. Uh, once again, keeping all the ingress out of the case. So to test the Savage UTV belt case, we obviously put belts in it. Uh, we ran one or two belts, one with tools, one without tools, all the scenarios. Uh, mounted it to the B pillar, C pillars, the crossbars. Um, we even figured out a way to mount it underneath the wheel well, uh, but that's gonna take some custom bracketing. So uh, to permanently mount it there, we would need to come up with some sort of uh, bracket that would fit uh, the supports of the bed. But we actually went further than just obviously using the belt case. This is designed to be the ultimate in protection for your belt. So uh, with that in mind and with the uh, durability and toughness that is marketed with this product, we thought we would put it to the test. So one of the things we did to test the Savage UTV belt case was to take it to our local off-road uh, park and to attach it to a sacrificial tree limb that was then zip tied to the front of our razor. And then at speed, we ran it straight into uh, some actual standing trees. That is meant to simulate the idea that you're gonna rub this up against trees or limbs or other things out in the wild where you're on a trail going through some tight shrubs or brushes, things like that. Um, you're gonna get impacts, you're gonna get branches that snap back and hit, you're gonna have to get, you're gonna get stuck and you go backwards and you're gonna run into things that are gonna scrape and hit on the, on the case. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Savage box, and we're gonna take the uh, mounting brackets that come with it and we're gonna zip tie it to this branch and then we're gonna run it through those trees. Try it again. Got to find another branch. first attempt. Perfectly clean inside, no cracks. Um, obviously, after hitting it at uh, speed, we really didn't see any difference with the case. There was no cracking, there was no marking outside of a scratch, um, and so it really performed well there. The next step in testing was a little bit more uh, brutal. Uh, we took the case and uh, laid it out on the dirt trail, simulating um, the, the possibility that maybe it came detached from your machine um, and that maybe the trail ride group behind you didn't see it in the cloud of dust and maybe ran it over or something like that. Um, so at speed, at high speed, at slow speed, at crawl, we ran over this thing with our uh, UTVs.
I don't think anything in the history of off-road accessories has been ran over and abused that much. It's actually still working pretty good. We got a little bit of uh, the seal coming apart. But all in all, it's still good. Still protecting your belt, still saving your tools. The video should speak for itself. It really didn't take much impact at all. Um, going over and over and over again with the, uh, the wheels really never impacted the, the case at all. And the inside of the case remained clean. That was really surprising. I figured, you know, after all the flexing and things like that, you would get ingress into the case. That just simply wasn't the case. Uh, really what happened, what it came down to was we put the front end of our razor on top of this case and just started to twist and turn the wheels on top of it. Uh, in that scenario, it started to bend and flex a bit uh, to where eventually it did pop open. Uh, and that's simply just because of the two halves of the case, you know, twisting back and forth eventually. Uh, the latch wasn't gonna be able to overcome those angles. So they released, the case opened. That was the first time we got ingress into the case. And, um, but the funny thing is we just pick it back up snapped the latches shut and went on our way again. Uh, and so in that case, we kept torturing it, seeing how far it would go. Uh, and we just ran it over and over and over. And this case just took it and took it and kept taking a beating and continued to perform flawlessly. So uh, the only damage that our tortured subject, not this one, but the one that we were running over, um, the only damage it took was some scratching from the obvious uh, mashing into the rocks and the tires and things like that. Um, the seal on the inside, the rubber gasket, uh, tore in a few places where the tire and the gasket met. Um, but overall, the machines really didn't do anything to this case. We were able to take that uh, tortured device, uh, seal it back up, put it in the water, and it still didn't leak or allow any further ingress into the case. So overall, we're just completely impressed by the overall performance of this case. Uh, obviously, something engineered this strong with this kind of um, features are, is expected to perform well. Um, I didn't expect it to perform as well as it did in our torture test. And um, you know, to be honest, I can't imagine any side-by-side -side that shouldn't be using this product. If you have a CVT clutch, you need to be having this case on your machine with your belt and your spare tools in it at all times. There's no excuse. At 120 bucks, this case will save your trip when you're out on the trail with a blown belt. Um, if you are somebody that has uh, a lack of space for tool storage, uh, utilizing the second half of the clamshell for your tools makes complete sense and this case is a no-brainer. I really can't say enough about the Savage UTV case. It is a performer, it is a looker, it looks great, it performs great, it does its job exactly as advertised, it does it in conditions above and far beyond what is advertised. And if you're a racer out there, if you're doing desert racing, I can't think of a better way to store your belt and tools to do a quick change on the fly. If you're somebody that does long trail trips, um, this will be you know, a no brainer when you're considering all the storage things that you have to consider when doing long trips. Um, if you're overlanding, uh, space is a premium. Being able to put this under your wheel well or on the roof or somewhere um, where any other object would succumb to abuse uh, just makes complete sense. So I can't think of a UTV driver that uh, would not benefit from this product. Simply put, this is the one and only way you should be storing your UTV belt and take it from me, we've proven this product and we can't recommend it enough. The Savage UTV case is available at a number of uh, online retailers, but you can also get these at savageutv.com. 120 bucks for the, same, for the same case that I'm holding right here. Uh, 170 bucks for the case with the toolkit. Uh, they also have a first aid version, which contains a complete off-road first aid triage kit inside the case. Uh, and they also have options coming out for the Pro Eagle uh, CO2 jack. So, so we, we can't thank Savage UTV enough for sending these cases out to us to test. Uh, we've really enjoyed having them on our vehicles. We really did put them uh, what we believe to the appropriate testing uh, protocol and again we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you go out and buy this product. It is worth every penny and until the next time take care. Stay safe. So Zach 
I don't think you can throw that even halfway to that tree. Not even halfway or halfway? Mm. Mm, okay. I'm going to say there's no way in Hades that you could hit that tree. Bet you 10 bucks. From staying up here. From up here. Staying up here. You can yeah. run, but you have to throw it from here. Yeah. And it's not going to go past that tree. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This started at halfway uh, okay, to, to the, the tree. Okay, to the tree. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You started this whole thing, okay. but not halfway to the tree. Okay. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks if you can make it touch or be under the tree. How about this? 10 bucks if I can go past halfway like you said, 20 bucks if I get it to the tree. Okay, and if you don't make it halfway, you wash my razor. Deal. Might as well go get that dirty because he's washing my razor. You ready to lose some money, Uncle Ben? That is short of the tree. That's at the tree. Come on, that's, a, that's no, at the tree. No, that's 10 feet short. 10 feet? 10 that's feet short. 10 feet short of the tree. Hey guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you happen to like what we're doing here, please give us a subscribe and a like. Uh, maybe hit that notification bell if you really are interested in some of the stuff we're doing. Uh, and if you can uh, do us a favor and go to the Savage UTV page, hit their uh, subscribe and like and follow buttons. That would be awesome. And uh, send them a message and let them know that you heard about them um, uh, here on the Side by Side Guys channel. So, um, also, while I was wrapping up the edit on this video, I was just really curious on um, maybe what you guys uh, have seen out there as far as uh, UTV belt uh, storage. So uh, I know I personally have seen them zip tied to A pillars. I've seen them, you know, under the seats. I've seen them in the glove box. What's the craziest uh, method of UTV belt storage you've seen? Leave that comment down below and uh, we'd love to hear back from you. And hopefully you join us for the next one. Peace.